should you give him a second chance? When the guy that you're dating messed up, will he get a second chance? It depends what he did. If it's a complete red flag, okay? So let's say he scheduled a date with you and then just didn't appear. That's like, unless he got really into trouble, trouble, um, that's a red flag. And, you know, some guys, they would say, oh, my own died today. I have so much diarrhea. I got into, my car is completely broken. I have a car accident. Like, okay, stuff like that can happen, yeah? But if it happened three times in a row, he's like, like, come on, okay? But the worst, the, the worst part is like guys who say, um, I was just partying all night. That's why I'm not feeling like going on a date now because, you know, I was just partying all night. Okay, that's like not even those type of guys. I don't even want to, you to date. Like if they party all night, I don't know what they're doing with their life. Like I don't think they're going to be millionaires if they're partying all night unless they're already retired. Okay. But then even, even the excuse of I was working so much, that's why I couldn't make it. Well, good for you. I guess work is your priority, but you're not ready for a relationship. Okay? If a guy is in his building stage and this is his priority, good for him. But you don't want a guy like that. Yeah, this is a red flag if a guy doesn't appear when he scheduled a date with you. Okay, so no. Many other red flags like um, I share with you in my in my course, How to Date a Millionaire. So I'm not going to go through all of the examples. One is NLP. Okay, so if it's a complete no-go for you, and you can even decide what is it for you, um, then yeah, you drop him. There's no second chances. Sorry, dude. Like, your time is over. If it's like a yellow flag, okay, so... Maybe he said something that didn't make you feel comfortable. Okay, he he shared things about his ex. Then you need to use your communication skills to call him out in a very feminine kind way. I teach you how to do them in my course, how to talk to a millionaire. Okay. So those communication skills, they um yeah, they they need to like be in a very feminine way so that he doesn't he is emasculated. Basically, I'll give you a script here. You share with him that it didn't make you feel good. And a healthy masculine man would be like, okay, I'm sorry. I I'm not going to be talking about my ex anymore. Okay. Or um, let's say that he, um, you know, he ignored your feelings in something. And then you'd be like, you know, I, I really need a man who makes me feel comfortable. And a healthy man he will step up, he will level up, okay? So it's part of the process. Like healthy men want to make you happy, but they're still humans, they make mistakes. And, um, you know, they also need your feedback, okay? So if it's like a yellow flag, it's just something that he didn't know or he didn't think about, like you just let him know and a healthy man will level up. But if he doesn't, you tell him like already three times, you know, I, I really don't feel comfortable when you talk about your ex. And he keeps talking about his ex. He sends you pic pictures about his ex. Okay, that ex thing is like another red flag. But you get my point. He just does something that you really don't feel comfortable with. Okay. Um, then just drop him. One more example would be if a guy is critical. Okay. If he's like criticizing whatever you are doing. If he's doing that in the very beginning, by the way, like the first few dates, I would drop him too. But when he starts doing that later, there are men who criticize a bit out of wanting to help. You know, they label it, I help you. I just want to give you feedback for you to help you. You're like, thank you so much for your advice that I didn't ask for. Please stop helping me. Please stop, stop uh, criticizing me in the name of help. And that's another example would which be a, like a yellow flag it's so annoying long term but a healthy guy will level up when you tell him so you tell him in a nice way don't make those face expressions i did right now be really nice you know like thank you so much for wanting to help me but 
uh, it doesn't feel good to me. It doesn't feel good when you point things out. If I need help, I will ask you. I know you want the best for me, but still, let, let me do my mistakes, okay? And then when you say those things like two or three times, he should be, he should, he should stop with that, okay? But then if it's like a really tiny thing, okay? Like a very, very tiny thing that might be a little bit annoying you, but it's just tiny. You don't have to even voice it out because nobody's perfect. You're not perfect, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. And if you choose correctly, you will be with a man who wants to make you happy. So long term, he will try his best. But you know how it is. People, they're just human, they're not perfect. Maybe he has this weird habit of putting off his socks after workout in, in the middle of the living room, even when you live with him later. And then it's annoying, but it's just a little thing, okay? Like, you can mention it that, you know, could you please put it there? But at the end of the day, you don't need to rock the boat for such little things. Choose your battles on bigger ones, okay? Because um, those little things, they're annoying, but you have to accept the other person as much as you accept yourself, okay? So have a little bit grace as well. I'm so much for being super strict with things that are really important, like boundaries broken, red flags. You have to be strict and walk out. But if these things are little and um, they're just a little bit annoying, but you can live with that, don't even say anything, okay? You can mention one or two times, but don't make it a big deal because your relationship and the emotional connection and love is more important than having a fight about those socks, okay? So I hope this gives you clarity when to give a man a second chance and when you should drop him, yeah? And if you need more support on your journey towards your millionaire's proposal, on your dating journey, or even in your relationship, feel free to reach out for one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can DM me on Facebook or Instagram directly, or you can send me an email. My email is in the description box. So check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you watch on YouTube, subscribe. And um, yeah, tell me in the comments when would be a situation that you would give a man a second chance and when would you not give him a second chance and drop him. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.